What's up, everyone? Ben Raza here for Odd Chopper. Happy Monday. It is Monday. It is May 13th in the sports world. We got plays. We got games. We got stuff to break down and recap. But first and foremost, if you're just stopping in for the first time, maybe you come here every day. Welcome to Odd Chopper. Welcome to Odd Chopper YouTube. This is where we got all things betting. We're breaking down tools. We're showing process. We're giving picks. Most of all, we're having fun. If you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's do a quick recap. Set back the Oilers in regulation. Uh, I saved myself some vig, but that's about all I saved because they did lose the game outright. Now, truth be told, got everything I wanted and then some over 40 shots for the Oilers in that game. Uh, I don't know if the Canucks cleared 20 shots. Sometimes the puck doesn't go in the net. Really, really happy with that. You get some of those. We've gotten more than our fair share. Let's see what we can do today. Start of a new week. We are eight and four in the month of May, but you don't want to be losing those like minus 120s, minus 125s. That chips away a lot. The vig matters. Uh, so don't let anyone fool you about that. It is about cash tickets, particularly when you're laying that type of juice. Let's get into it today. Uh, before I do again, if you are looking for that type of knowledge, if you are looking for that type of process, these tools at Odd Chopper make the difference. Whether you're playing on prize picks, underdogs, sleepers, sites like that, whether you're building out parlays, you're trying to turn a little money into a lot, these tools are catered to those type of strategies. And we have them and they're available and they're all under one roof. The same roof as the Discord, the tools, the picks. It's all here. The link is below. Come test it out for a week. It's a great week of sports with all the playoffs going on. See if it makes a difference. We've got a golf major as well. If you have any questions, you always let me know. But we got to get to a play on the board here. And I'm sticking to the ice. I'm sticking to the process in hockey. I just talked about laying some juice. And I'm doing it again tonight here with the Avalanche at minus 135. I don't really understand this line. Listen, I know it's hockey and I respect the stars. But I expect Colorado to come out at home and look really sharp tonight. Down 2-1 in the series. Not a have to have it. It's hockey, uh, but it would go a long way. 2-2 two, two versus 3-1. You, you know what you're in for. And it doesn't mean just because you need it, you get it. That's just not how sports works. But Avalanche are 31-9-1 at home during the regular season. Yeah, you look at the last game, you say, man, they, they lost 4-1. It was 2-1. Uh, and, you know, two late goals, empty netters, things of that nature when they're desperate. They had the expected goals advantage, which is a metric that I use a lot. Uh you know, some again, just like the Oilers last night, who had a decisive advantage. Sometimes the puck doesn't go in. What is the big catalyst for that? Well, the Avalanche, it's not hard to look. They were 0-4 on the power play in game three. What about game two? Oh, they were 0-4 on the power play in game two. They're too good to not cash in on the power play extra man advantages. They have to flip that. I think they will historically end during the season. Power play is not an issue for the Avalanche. They will be just fine. You look at the Dallas Stars, they're a good team. There's no doubt about it that they belong in this series. And they've shown it. They've had success offensively, which is my biggest worry for sure. Uh, they can rack up the goals themselves. But at the same time, I still think that the Avalanche uh, are the right side, not just in this game, but in this series. I expect this certainly to be a long series. Now it has to be. If the Avalanche are going to win, it has to go at least six. Uh, but to me, this is a game, if they can just regress to the mean in a good way, particularly on the extra man advantage, we're going to see Colorado have some more success. And, and, and like I said, I don't want to overreact because sometimes I've said it three times. Sometimes the puck simply doesn't go in. It's a lot like soccer. If you bet soccer, you can have the best of it. And sometimes it just doesn't work. Uh, but for Colorado, I expect them to pepper, pepper the goalie with shots. I expect them to hopefully stay out of the box themselves and at home on their home ice in a game that they really need. Uh, I like this spot minus 135. I'm just a little surprised. It's up to minus 140. At other books, I expected this when I broke it down to be in the minus 150, minus 160 range, to be completely honest. So, yes, do I like to weigh uh, 1.35 to win one? I don't really care if I evaluate it at it should be minus 160. It's all about the expected win percentage versus the juice that you're paying. So we're going to try to put this one on the board. Obviously, we are the favorite. I think that's understated here. But give me the avalanche at home. I, I really like the bounce back here. They will level the series at 2-2. Two, two. I didn't want to get fancy. If you want to be aggressive, you can lay the puck line. You're talking about, you know, almost 2-1 to one there. You can even go regulation. But for me, uh, I kept it very standard and very generic. Minus 135 on the money line tonight for Colorado at home. They get it done. Now, if you have any questions, again, from the NBA to soccer, other stuff going on, you can always find me in our Discord. I am there. Uh, and make sure if you're on mobile, download the app. Odd Chopper now has a brand New app. It has been scaling. It's been innovating. It is ready to roll. Check it out. Free to download. Uh, we'd love to have you in there. All of it. We just want you as part of the community because we're growing quickly. So much content, and we don't want you to miss out on any of it. So in the meantime, though, Colorado Avalanche tonight. Let's put a win on the board. Thanks again for tuning in, everyone. Appreciate you guys. 
day in and day out. Obviously, I'm going to be in the golf world here having some fun this week. So if you like some golf, another reason just to join Odd Chopper. But we'll see you inside the ropes for me, for the Stars, and for the Avalanche. Good luck. Have a great start to your week. And I'll see everyone tomorrow.